What's going on there, Baby Dragon Squad? I got a brand new video for you guys here today. I have a massive Yu-Gi-Oh! shopping haul from Target. I went to Target the other day, and they had a bunch of sales going on, so I picked up a bunch of stuff. I thought it'd be cool not only to get for video footage, but also just for trades and whatnot. I have a ton of stuff that I want to do for you guys in this video, so if you guys haven't enjoyed this video at the end of it, make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel with notifications enabled. Uh, but before we get into the haul, I quickly want to let you guys know that I'm doing not only a special giveaway of this mat right here, but you guys have actually never seen this mat. So I want to thank my friends over at Imperium Duelist as well. Shout out Tom Box from uh, MST.TV. He actually designed this mat. I want to let you guys know that they're going to be releasing this brand new mat here. It's a two-player brand new mat featuring a really cool new Mech Knight monster from the brand new Extreme Forces set. Uh, it's a two-player mat, a cloth mat specifically, utilizing their brand new uh, technology that they've developed. Not only are they deciding to go back to their screen printing process, but they've improved it. Uh, it allows the King's Robe material, which features the black back on the mat, to be that much softer, that much cleaner looking. The edges, as always, are treated to be non-fraying edges. The ink is great on this mat. It's a screen printing process, which means it's not a full color mat, but it's much, much softer. It's very similar to that Masterpiece Draco Slayer and Calamity's Dragon mat that I featured before on my channel. It's a fantastic mat. They're going to be releasing it in three different styles. This is the regular uh, type of style. This is going to be the regular Supreme Edge. They're only going to be making 100 of these featuring the turquoise navy blue, but they're also going to be releasing 15 limited editions, which are going to be a black baby blue colorway, as well as seven special Pro Edition Supreme Edge mats. Uh, the Supreme Edge mats for the Pro will include no ink, and they will have their signature on their play match. It'll, it's actually their signature play mat. Uh, they'll come in a purple colorway, which is really cool. They're also going to be releasing all these new mats with their brand new cloth bags. This year is going to be turquoise. Last year was red. It was a really cool change. I, I think it's a really innovative uh, strategy to be able to include different colorways. And not only that, but include different bags for every different year's releases. I want to remind you guys to mark your calendars for April 6, 2018 at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They're going to be releasing this mat at ImperiumDuelist.com on their website, which I will link down below. But not only are they releasing the mat, then they also gave me the opportunity to run a giveaway for this regular Supreme Edge mat. I will link the Gleam competition down below you guys can enter it's an absolutely free giveaway huge props to mst.tv uh tom box he did a great job on this design and again ultimately thank you to imperium duels for executing on this playmat design it turned out really great and i gotta say i really really like it i'm excited to use it and we're going to be using this playmat today for this unboxing slash haul video to show you guys what I got. Uh, first and foremost, we'll go into the first goodie bag. Uh, I went to Target, so this is actually almost a $500 value, uh, or about a $500 value, give or take. It's a little bit over if you include tax and whatnot, uh, just based on what I've got. However, I didn't get everything from Target. All the stuff I'm gonna be showing right now, I did get from Target, so first and foremost, we got a bunch of uh, a single blisters. We got the Circuit Break blister packs from, uh, from Circuit Break, of course. Um, they are all first edition. I believe there's 18 of these. So we're going to go ahead and probably open these as well as a couple of other things. There's 18 of these, all first edition. Uh, they typically retail around like $4 uh, plus tax, $3.99 plus tax. Uh, but they had a really crazy sale on these. I think it was like 35% off. Um, which is really, really great. I snagged all of them, but then they also had a bunch of you know, like coupon codes and they had a bunch of other stuff at Target, so I ended up getting those. Uh, next, I also got, they only had three of these. I probably would have gotten more. I got three uh, special editions of Circuit Break. There's three of these. Um, this is, it's great. I mean, they have the Ring Dragon of Ross Fear mode on here. I don't really care about the other promos. That's probably the only relevant promo in this special edition. But honestly, anytime you have an opportunity to pull Borlo Dragon, anytime you have an opportunity to pull Evenly Matched, that's always great. So we have three of these and 18 uh, blisters from Circuit Break. Next, they got the brand new Extreme Force Special Edition. This one features not only the brand new spell card call, uh, called from the grave, as well as uh, two other cards that we've been waiting for a reprint, uh, specifically Gamma and uh, Cypher Blade Dragon, I believe it is. Uh, these cards are really great. I'm really excited to get these. I, I definitely need a Cypher Blade. I already have Gammas, uh, but I definitely need three called from the grave. I definitely need that card. I don't have any of that. I ended up getting four of these. Um, really, really sweet. I'm really excited to open these. I haven't really opened up much Extreme Force. Uh, but what's great about this, not only can you get the promos, uh, I could potentially pull a, uh, either, you know, obviously the, the new Pendulum Monster, or excuse me, the new Link Monster. 
Uh, we can pull him. We can also pull Saryuja, which is, you know, there's just a ton of value in all, both of these sets. I think Circuit Break has a little bit more value in the set just because, uh, obviously, Extreme Force really just has, like, the two money cards in here, uh, Saryuja and uh, the Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. But other than that, these are the, the, the bulk of what I ended up getting. But in addition to these, I also ended up getting four, they had four of these Kaiba Collection boxes. Um, they had four of these, which was kind of crazy because the other target in my area, there's two of targets in my area. They ended up actually having four of these. And I was really, really mad because the other day I went there and I saw four of them. And I kid you not, I was like, okay, I'm just going to grab them on my way out. Well, guess what happens? I turn around for two minutes and some random guy and his little brother and his mother ended up buying all four of them. So I was really, really sad about that. Um, but I ended up getting four of these. So there's four Kaiba collection boxes. Um, I'm probably not gonna be opening the Kaiba collection box in this because I do actually have uh, seven more of these, seven more Kaiba collection boxes. I wanna do either, maybe either hold on to them and hope they appreciate over time just as sealed product goes. Uh, since they, it's been a huge cracked open set, obviously it's a, it's a set that's going to um, you know, retain quite a bit of value both for collectors and in addition to that it's going to have a lot of value in terms of some of the cards in here right now. Some of the cards are kind of dropping but uh, I mean Ash Blossom's still in here, a lot of hand traps are still in here. I think it's a great set overall so uh, we'll see. Let me just give you guys a quick recap once again. First and foremost we have uh, 18 circuit break uh, single blisters right here. These are really cool, they're sealed. Um, they are all first edition, which is really, really important when you're looking for cards like Borlo, Dragon, and Evenly Matched. Uh, there's also a couple other cards in Circuit Break that are relevant, but that's the first set. We have the three Circuit Break Special Editions. Again, more Borlo, Dragon, and Evenly Matched potential to pull them there. Uh, after that, we have the four Special Editions from Extreme Force. Unfortunately, these are unlimited. I don't really have too much, uh, you know, stock and inventory from Extreme Force. So it'll be great to open these up and get some stuff into my collection from that as well as just uh, random trades and whatnot that I have. And then again, lastly, we have the four uh, special editions from Kaiba Collection. Uh, I do have more of these, and I can show you guys. I have more Kaiba Collection. I have seven more of these. However, these were on a special order. I believe I got these from a, a Barnes & Noble order that I ended up putting through. Uh, you guys can check all these out here. And this isn't to just... Uh, you know, uh, you know, tell you guys that you guys can uh, have a lot of different mediums. You don't necessarily need to order from one or two different stores. There's just tons of different ways to get Kaiba Collection. Um, and, and I think a lot of people are kind of underestimating it. These are, at the end of the day, retailing for $30. However, resale price on those uh, typically has been averaging anywhere between $40 and $50 online. Um, honestly, I might even sit on these or just try and get rid of them. Uh, individually because realistically people are easily paying 40 to 45 at these uh, a lot of local stores have jacked up the price to 45 50 so I think these are a really solid investment even if I hang on to them because there's always gonna be cards in here that people want uh, a lot of great reprints a lot of great value but that's not what we're gonna be opening today I think it's just uh, this video is gonna run on too long maybe I'll do a part two if this video let's say gets like two or three hundred likes or something like that I'll open up the Kaiba collection boxes or half of them or something like that Today we're going to be opening up uh, the circuit break stuff. I guess maybe I'll hold the extreme forces depending on how long this video runs. But again, we're going to be using the brand new Imperium Duelist mat here to open these up. We're going to open up the special editions as well as the circuit break blisters. And if there's time, we'll open up the extreme force uh, special edition pack. So let's get straight into it, guys. Uh, I'm feeling like we should probably open up the boosters first or the blister packs. There's 18 of these, so let's get straight into it. Um, the blister packs, as I said, they are, uh, these are all from Target, and it'll give me a great opportunity to, uh, pull some brand new cards. I think the blister packs, I think, like I said, the only cards that really have a ton of value out of this particular booster set are Borlo Dragon as well as Evenly Matched. Now, Evenly Matched is holding a little bit of a higher price tag. Borlo Dragon, people are expecting it's going to get a reprint, either an alternate art like Firewall Dragon, or, uh, maybe something else. So, first pack here, guys, let's see what we can pull. I'm um, really excited about this, see what we can get. First pack, we get an ultra rare, baby. We got Alter Geist uh, Prime Banshee, Pr Prime Banshee, really cool. We got an ultra rare right off the bat, so that's really, really neat. I know Alter Geist are getting actually quite a bit of hype lately. A lot of people have been buying out a lot of their cards, so that's really cool. We got Alter Geist Prime Banshee. Um, I think I think as far as the sets go, I think this was a really good investment because realistically, after all the pr uh, coupon codes that I got, like I said, this was retailing. All the stuff that I got here was about 500-ish plus dollars, probably like 550-ish after tax and shipping. 
um, especially through that, that special Barnes & Noble order. But I had a couple coupon codes. I had like two $25 off codes. Um, all the circuit break stuff was 35% uh, off. The Extreme Force stuff was 35% uh, off. So I was able to get a really, really good deal, um, make a lot of money and save a lot of money on this stuff. And I thought it would just be a great opportunity to open this stuff up for you guys. Uh, next we got Baguska, baby. Great super rare to pull. Always a, you know, a couple dollars right there. Baguski. Um, I love this card to death, man. Baguska is such a powerful Link monster. Um, or XYZ monster, excuse me. <laughs> Not Link monster, but a powerful XYZ monster. I think that card will definitely be one of those uh, you know, few cards that almost stands the test of time, to be honest with you guys. Like, there's just no reason why uh, Baguska would not stand the test of time uh, in the competitive meta, unless it's just fours just end up <laughs> circulating out of uh, some of the top decks. Because pretty much every, every top deck can make Baguska right now, uh, at least that I can think of, unless you guys uh, know otherwise. But next pack, we are in, uh, in our third pack right here. We got, let's see what we can pull. Really hoping for that Borlo Dragon, guys. Really hoping for something really, really nice. We got a Backup Squad and a Metaphist Ragnarok. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next pack here. And I'm trying to open these up as quickly as possible because there's no real way to open up blisters without, uh, <laughs> without taking your time. You guys, you got to be kind of careful with it. I, obviously, I'm trying to use a knife here to open these up. Um, but let's see what we got in this pack right here. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm smelling at least a Borlode Dragon. If we pull either one Borlode or one evenly matched out of these packs, we literally just make our money back right there on, uh, on all these packs because they were on such an easy deal. We got World Legacy Trap Globe. Really cool. i got to read what that does. I actually, I don't know what too many of the World Legacy cards do. Um, the only ones I'm really familiar with are the ones that I ended up using in my Crawler deck profile. And I think, like, like Crawlers, I think they have, like, such a unique aspect. They have a really cool grind game. But unfortunately, they're so slow. Like, the flip mechanic is just such a slow mechanic. And I feel Crawlers suffer from sub tear syndrome is what I call it. Um, there's no other way to really explain it. We got another World Legacy Trap Globe right there. Uh, next pack, next bl blister pack. I want to know what you guys think I'm probably going to pull. Like, if you guys are watching this, comment down below with what you guys think the best card I'll pull out of these uh, blister packs is going to be. Like, I, I, I want to see if someone's going to get it. I think uh, you guys can't comment after I open them. I think that kind of defeats the purpose. But let me know if you guys guessed correctly or comment first and then let me know. We got a Recital Starling, pretty good pull. We got Link Bumper and Altergeist Camouflage. So... Not too great right there, but that's okay. We still got quite a few packs. And it's crazy, because if you really think about it, this is basically, I ended up getting, like, excluding the special editions. Um, this is almost a box of Circuit Break, and I think I only ended up paying maybe, like, 40 bucks or something like that for it, which is really, really good. Like, there, there's not really many deals that can top that. Um, and I got really lucky. Um, we got a Backup Squad and another Ultra Rare. We got uh, Asymmetaphys, I believe it's called. Asymmetaphys. This is for uh, the Metaphys archetype. I've never actually built that deck. I've never really looked into it. Um, I had friends that were going to try to build it, but unfortunately, they didn't end up building it. And I, I thought it had been cool because then I could deck profile it for you guys, but that didn't end up happening. So let's see what we got here. Next we got... Uh... Bam, another Ultra Guys Prime Banshee. Another Ultra Rare back to back Ultra Rare Prime Banshees. Um, I guess it is good. I don't really know how many uh, the deck uses, but I, I suppose that that's always great. You can never have enough Ultra Rares, right? You can never have enough Prime Banshees. But I'm still, still hopeful. Hopefully we can get an evenly matched Andor Borlo Dragon out of these packs. Those are the only secret rares I really care about. Um, but we have, we have plenty of opportunities to do so. So let's see what we got here. We got Gateway Dragon and a Destrudo. Destrudo is a really good rare, really great rare that we could pull out of these packs. Um, it's one of my favorite cards. Like, honestly, Destrudo, the whole engine with, like, Dragon Ravine, it's probably one of my favorite engines to be released in Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long, long time. And I'm not even, like, an ABC player. I just like splashing it in almost every deck. Like, if there's a way for me to play Dragon Ravine, uh, I will definitely try and play it. Okay, boys, we got a Secret Rare. We got Backup Squad and Fuse Line as a secret rare. Now keep in mind this isn't from an individual box as far as I'm aware, so um, obviously I'd rather have this be an evenly matched. This isn't a very good secret rare, but we did pull a secret rare, so that's pretty cool. It says, well this card is set, target one card on the field, uh, in this card's column, destroy it. So, um, interesting card. I'm not sure this card has very much playability, but it's a secret rare nonetheless. I will take it. Hopefully we can get uh, another couple secret rares out of these packs. Uh, circuit Break, like I said, is probably where the most of the value is from this haul other than the Kaiba collection stuff that I pulled. So, uh, great opportunity to pull some neat cards out of here. Let's see what we 
can get out of here. Come on, guys. We need that evenly matched and Borlo Dragon. That's what we really, 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 really want. You got Metaphys Executor uh, plus a personal spoofing. So, pretty cool. We're down to, I believe, about 10 packs, something like that. Not even. Eight packs. We've opened up six and seven, so 13. So, we got about, what, five packs left? No, more, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, seven packs left. I knew I had it right the first time. <laughs> Gosh, these are these are, like blisters are always so difficult to open. You got to be careful because I'm not trying to like not bend the pack inside because I don't want to damage any of the cards. But at the same time, I just want to be so aggressive with this pack opening and just like rip through everything and not even care. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Come on, slide out of that. No, don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. I've learned my lesson in the past before. You never want to just like rush through everything. You want to take your time. Come on, this has got to be the Borlo Dragon. It's the cover card, baby. Or even me, one of the others. Ah, double Helix and Destruda. All right, a little late on the Double Helix, but we got an Ultra Rare Spiral Double Helix. I love Spirals, one of my favorite decks right there. Um, let's see what we can get from here. Uh, you know what? might be better if I just open them from the front like this, if I can if I can do that. Because the plastic is really what's like taking up some of the, the valuable <laughs> valuable time that I could be opening these packs. <sighs> but yeah, so so far, how are you guys doing in your predictions? I, I'd really like to know. Like I'm definitely going to be reading all you guys' comments. Like that'd, that'd be a really awesome opportunity for me to uh, interact with you guys. But let's see what we got here. Come on. Quiet Life, and another security block. Man, that, that rare is really just everywhere. Um, hmm. All right, next pack. And this is such a, I'm, I'm actually filming at like such a weird angle here <laughs> that I can't even explain how uncomfortable I am because I'm sitting at like the most uncomfortable, like I'm actually sitting on a table, guys. It's so uncomfortable. Seidel Starling, Vendred Knights, and a Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. So, pretty cool. We're getting a lot of Metaphys cards here. I'm really hoping to pull something a little, a little more exciting. I had to get off the table for a second, guys, just because my legs and back were killing me sitting like that. All right, come on. Watch this be like the Borload evenly pack, and I just like destroyed it. <laughs> All right. On. Daddy needs a new evenly matched. Link restart, crawler spine. <sighs> Another secret rare, but it's a personal spoofing and Vendred Chimera. Ugh, I already have this card, unfortunately. I have like five of these. So another secret rare, Vendred Chimera. Not the right secret rare that we wanted, but you know what? I'll take it for 40 bucks. You know, this is basically like opening up a booster box. We still have three opportunities out of these blisters to pull. A bore load and evenly, um, not including the special editions. So, I mean, you guys got to keep that in mind. This isn't uh, this isn't certain. We don't necessarily know exactly what I'm gonna pull yet, but it's uh, looking like it's it's not the greatest pulls thus far. But I mean, I think these pulls are like pretty good actually. Like we're pulling a lot of ultra rares. Um, most of the time, even in like a booster box, people don't get like this many ultra rares. I think you usually only get like two to three ultras, and I think we're already at like four four or five ultras. So uh, that's kind of cool, and we're getting. This dust all over all over our gorgeous new mat. All right, come on. The last three packs. Come on. Metaphys Executor and a Metaphys Daedalus again. So, yep. Last two blisters, boys. Come on. Can we get some uh, some Spirit Bomb energy or something in the chat? That'd be really cool. I'd, I'd really like to get. Or not in the chat. I'm not live streaming. Why did I say that? That was definitely a major fail, boys. But yeah, if you guys want to help the channel grow, if you guys want more videos like this uh, to be possible, openings, maybe even giveaways like these mats, I do have a special promotional video coming out for a really cool giveaway that I'm going to be doing uh, with a special company uh, in the coming weeks when I get their product. Um, and I'm excited for that, but I, I can't really talk about that yet. So we'll have to see another Baguska and Destrudo. Really good pack, but you know, not what we want. All right, guys, come on. We got a final pack of Destiny here. We got to pull... The evenly matched, and that was a really good cut. That was like the perfect cut that I've ever had, like out of all these packs. So if that was a perfect cut, this pack has to be bore loader evenly. Like that that's literally all we need this pack to be. There's there's nothing else I care about. 
and you guys shouldn't either. Like if we pull, if we pull Boro Loader evenly, I'm literally just gonna lose it. Like I'm actually just gonna lose it out of this last pack. Alter guys, protocol and a Metaphist Tyrant. Okay, that's a little unfortunate and a little uneventful, but we did pull uh, two secret rares. Uh, I feel like we still have some time, so you know what? We're gonna crack open the special editions. Uh, again, these are the uh, Circuit Break special editions right here. Uh, we should probably crack these open. Actually, this video is probably long enough, so um, I don't think we're gonna crack these open. What I think we're gonna do is we're gonna save these and post these in a separate video here, along with the Extreme Force special editions. We still have four of those, so we're gonna open up all these guys in a part two or part three video. If you guys wanna see those videos, make sure you guys slap that like button. Thank you guys for joining me here and making this $500 haul possible. Uh, I did this for you guys. I went out of my way. This is like all out of pocket money as well as uh, all, all the donations and Patreon stuff that you guys have been helping me do. Uh, it, obviously, this is all just going to go back into the channel if I can get rid of these cards and trades or sales. Uh, very much appreciated. Nonetheless, thank you guys here for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys smash that like button. Also, make sure you guys uh, consider backing me on Patreon, checking out my live streams when I'm, when I'm streaming. You guys can check out my new videos when they're posted and make sure you guys check out the giveaway link for this gorgeous gorgeous mat so so soft like honestly like this mat is just the nicest thing like doing all this the card sliding on this mat doing all the all the different things that this mat can do is uh really really fun like i, I just i like this mat man like this this thing is so soft i want i want to go lay down and just use this as a blanket but that's probably not going to happen right now because that'd be very weird if I did it on video. <laughs> Anywho's, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys are subscribed, like this video, share it with your friends. Make sure you guys share this $500 haul. We are going to be doing a part two, part three, and probably a part four uh, very, very soon. Insane uh, haul. I'm actually, you know, despite in the in the first blisters not pulling the, 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 the cards that I wanted, uh, we still pulled really well, I think. We pulled relatively well, um, but we have so many more opportunities to pull well out of these as well as the Kaiba collection boxes. So that's basically it. Patreon link down below, giveaway link down below, and Pyram uh, Duelist link down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe. Check out the Baby Dragon Squad comments down below. Make sure you guys drop a comment, show you guys support. See you guys next time. And always remember, Duelist, to believe in the heart of the cards. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>